Yo, what's up guys, it's Steven Dees here, back with another Roblox Skyblock video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the brand new Sprinklers Auto Farm in Skyblock. It actually took us 3 hours to make this, it is the best onion farm I've ever seen. So make sure you guys watch to the end, you do not want to miss out. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And also, can we get to 500 likes on this video? I believe the B squad can do it easily. Come on, guys, take you like one second. Beep, hit the like button. And make sure you also turn the notification bell to never miss out a new video. Before we start this video, I want to give a huge thanks to my friend Keith for helping me out with the farm, the designs from himself as well. And I'm actually hosting daily giveaways in my Discord server. So if you guys want to join the giveaway, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. And also the link will be down in the description. I'm going to be giving away such as like 10 pearls, 2 propellers, so make sure you join the Discord server as well. And let's get the video started. And here is the farm boys introducing the brand new Sprinklers Auto Farm in Skyblock right here boys. Oh my goodness. Guys, check this out boys. Holy moly. Look at this guys. Just look at all these clean onions by the chest over here, dude. This is absolutely crazy. You guys see all these clean onions? Look, all these are clean. They're not oily crops. Look at this. They're all clean onions. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this farm as well as how you can um, use this farm to make your onions all clean. And you can get a tons of money again. This is way... Like this is way better than the old farm at some point. So if we go to the very top I'm gonna be showing you guys how this farm works. So for this sprinklers auto farm I used nine sprinklers on each layer. So if you guys don't know what sprinkler do is that it covers nine blocks around the sprinklers and makes the crop grow a bunch faster like a lot faster. That's why it's super good because like the speed of the growth right now is insane. It's, super, it's growing like every 20 seconds. So Make sure you add your um, sprinklers to the farm, like what I did here. So pretty much it covers nine blocks. And what I did here is I put around nine sprinklers on each layer. So why right here, four on this path right here and four over there as well. So what I did for every layer for this farm is that I put each individual layers um, conveyor bows in front of the totems. So it can go right here all the way to the main conveyor here and it goes down here. As you guys can, there's three um, there's three com main conveyor belts here as well, and it goes down all the way to the spot drop point right here. As you guys can see, it, so it goes from first go from the totem here, it goes from here, 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 here to the main three dropping point. And what it does after you drop to the um, the spot right here, as you guys can see, I have three cold totems right here, right above the um, the industrial washing station. What it does is that it pretty much drop the um the coal into the um into the industrial washing station. As you guys can see right here, so right here is dropping all these coal into the um into the main conveyor here, and it's going going all the way into here. You guys can see that's why the the um the, the industrial washing station is always running. And pretty much why this is so good is that once I add like all these stuff in here, you can see. Let me go back here real quick. So as you guys can see. All these onions are getting cleaned super fast and it gets like shoot it out instantly. Like look look at the speed. Pretty much bounces instantly to the chest here. And I could I can just collect so many clean onions with no problems, guys. Look at this. It's absolutely insane. So pretty much how you do this is that let me show you guys real quick. Let me go all the way up here. You need a lot of water catcher. So why you need a lot of water catcher? Because these sprinklers need a lot of water resources. If you don't have enough water catcher, you're not going to keep the um, the sprinkler running at the same time. So ne you need a bunch of these water catchers. So I, I have around um, I have around 5 11 on each layers to keep all these sprinklers running. Also, just to let you guys know, the, sp um, the water catcher on the second floor here also can run at the first layers here as well. So all of these are shared. I'm not sure if the um, the first flare one can share the second one, but all of these are shared over here, which is really good. So make sure you guys, if you guys want to copy this farm, you can copy this as well. So pretty much you add all these individual conveyor bows in front of the totem. You got six onion totem here and make a main conveyor bow one, um, one block below. So it's going to drop down here to the main conveyor bow here. And um, you need around five, one, two, three, four, four, um, four sprinklers and you need eight seeds around the sprinklers 
And guys, that's enough. That's way enough. You know why? Because it pretty much grows up instantly, which is really good. This is actually better than the old farm at some point. So as you guys can see, all these onions, all these oily onions are going down here. So you guys can see, I placed some um, glass paint right here to keep out the um, the fail, the failing and how to spot. So it goes all the way down here from this this main conveyor belt and this conveyor belt here. It goes here and here. And all, all we got here, this one goes to the middle one over here. And after it drops to the um, th these three conveyor belts here, it goes to this dropping point. And it drops there, then goes all the way down to the industrial washing station. And we got the um the coal totem here to supply the coal into the um in industrial station to make it keep running. And what we got for the staircase here, it actually shoots out the um the onions super fast, so we can prevent any despawning on the onions, so it, it will not despawn as fast. Look, it's pretty much instantly. Look at how fast the onion goes down to the um the chest. So I can pretty much just collect the clean onions super fast. Look at this. It's actually insanely good. Look at this. We got so many clean onions. This farm is actually impressive and amazing. Look at how fast the, um, the clean onions are coming out. And also, I know a lot of you guys probably don't have three industrial washing stations. So one actually works fine as well. You just have to, you don't have to add these um two other ones right here. So the way how these um how this works right here is I'm just let me show you guys how this shoot works. So let me find some some stone 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 brick stairs. All right, there we go. Let me get some glass block as well. All right. So pretty much how this works that first you're gonna want to place down like a like a block right here, right? And place down um a stair a staircase right here, and place out another glass block, and place down another staircase. Oops, that's not the staircase. My bad. Let me get, get rid of the um the stone bricks. There we go. Let me remove that. Okay. So this is how the shoot works. You add the um the staircase above the um the blocks, and um look like that. And you remove the um you don't have to remove that, but this is pretty much how the staircase works. And you make it turn. You pretty much just add like a sideway here to make it um turn over here. That's why I have like two conveyor belts here to make it make sure that goes down here. You know what I'm saying? To give it like a low extra boost. So you guys see how fast these onions are going down. It's absolute crazy. There's like onions going down here every single second. This farm is absolutely crazy. Look, always the chest is always filled with full of clean onions. This farm is absolutely crazy. Yeah, you can do this and it's gonna shoot it down instantly, super fast. And let me show you guys how the um the farm itself works as well. So let make sure I'm gonna explain how this works so you guys can understand. So you need two sprinklers for each um each six um onion totem so one two three four five six seven eight acs on each of these because it can only covers eight blocks and also for the water catchers i'm pretty sure as long as you're pretty close to the water catcher the um the sprinkler can receive the water from this so even if like right here this one right here the sprinkler right here can still re receive the water from the um the water catcher over here which is really good so you can place down around five or six on each for each of these four sprinklers and the and that's really good. Look how fast the onions are going down here. It's always packed with full of chests and full of onions. Like I, I love this onion farm so super hard much. It's actually the best onion farm ever. And look at, we're gonna go down to the first layer as well. Let me show you guys the first layer. Um, let me go down here. So it, it is the exact same thing. So we have the six water catcher here. You guys see the six six water catcher here, and the same exact spot right here. Oh. If you guys didn't know, your onion seeds actually despawn sometimes, so like it disappears sometimes. So make sure you add them back in if you see them disappearing. That's just like a glitch and like a bug in the game right now. There's nothing you can do about it. And um, look at this, boys. Just look at this. Super good. And um, you need around one, two, three, four, five, six. You need eleven water catcher and um, nine sprinklers for each layer. This farm is the best farm I've ever seen, boys. It is super good. Look at all these clean. Can you guys see the, all these clean onions down here? Look at all these clean onions. This is what I like to see. This is the best new farm you can possibly make. Look at this, boys. Oh my goodness. This is super good. And we also got the, um, but you guys see all these water catcher supplies, the, um, the sprinklers. And I want to make sure you guys understand how those work. So I'm going to explain it again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need nine, nine sprinklers on each side. You can just copy this format and just add all these individual conveyor belt in front of the totems. You guys can see, and this goes down to the middle one here, right? 
one, two, three. You, you add three com main conveyor belt here as well, and make the dropping point go down here, go down here, and it's gonna go all the way to the industrial washing station, which will go towards. Make sure you can you can just add like a block above the um the industrial washing station and put like a cold totem above it. And now as you guys can see, once you put the cold totem above it, it's gonna start automatically generating the code that's needed for the industrial washing station, which is insanely good. Just look at this. Like, the, the, look at this, boys. The chest is always filled with full of onions, guys. Look at this. There's so many clean onions. Like, it is, it is absolutely crazy, boys. Look at this, boys. Oh, my goodness. It is absolutely insane. It is always full with the full of onions. So, yeah. I hope this video helped you guys. If you did, make sure you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and also turn the notification bell to never miss out a new video. This onion farm is absolutely crazy. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this helped you guys out. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I will reply as soon as possible. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Steven the Beast, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.